Claim your blessings. May 11, 2014. Have you ever considered or wondered why it has always been so easy to allow fear to stand in the way of achieving your dreams? You already understand the workings. At first you find something that you really want to accomplish, then you begin listing all the magnificent rewards this project or venture will bring into your life. What many times happens next dear ones, is just when you are getting into the heart of this goal, dream, project, or venture, there is a part in your own mind that has you fearing what could go wrong, or what if this happens, or what if that happens. Now what tends to follow this flow of worrisome thinking is a flood of negative possibilities that create a dampening effect on your goal, project, and venture or dream that you were working on. There are many dear souls that call this dampening effect, the derailing of your goals as a reality check. But what it really is, is you being afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and going into unknown territory. It draws you forward, but the moment you are to step into unknown waters, your ego and little mind tries to protect you by using fear to prevent you from growing, developing, and from succeeding in your goals. Have you ever wondered why you do this? Think about it dear ones. Why is it you make excuses for your fear and disguise it by calling it reality? For the most part, this kind of goal sabotaging makes your dreams and hopes into fantasies, which allows you to avoid facing the reason behind your fears. Your journey is unpredictable. You are not meant to know every possible outcome before completing each step along the way. You can easily assume and still not come to the exact conclusion, as your success depends on your effort, your focus, and determination, as well as your will. Many dear souls fear the unknown, they fear taking risks, they fear failure or making a mistake. And there are many dear souls that fear being ridiculed or of change. It only takes a small hint of doubt to hinder your aspirations. But if you are uncomfortable by the very idea of change or from going beyond your comfort zone, you would have to create a lot of fear-based thoughts that become like panic that will put an end to your progress. And the only way you can justify your quitting is by calling it reality. It's just the way it is. When you hide behind excuses created out of fear then call it your reality. You will make yourself look more reasonable than fearful, but a true observer will see the fear and see the truth underneath your excuses of not fulfilling your goals, dreams, hopes, or ventures, and you will get to go back to your comfort zone where everything is known and not new. Fear is a very strong and powerful feeling. It can create a barrier that encloses you within it. The problem with having a wall built of fear is that it prevents you from experiencing the many wonders and delights that life has in store for you. Without you bravely taking a risk to try something new, to bring change into your life that would not only benefit you, but those around you, there would never be a sense of adventure, there would be no understanding of excitement, and there would be no passion or drive to get you to those new experiences and opportunities. Fear Dear Ones is not a bad thing. Just like other feelings, fear comes to you as a caution. When fear is being felt, it is reminding you that you are about to step into the unknown and uncharted territory. Fear shows you the possible unpleasant consequences of moving forward, but you do have the ability to turn your fear into excitement and motivation. The fear we are speaking of today is the fear that is preventing your ability and eagerness to reach for your dreams, goals, hopes, and ventures. Understand dear ones, that any kind of fear that prevents you from going in the direction your heart is leading you towards that would benefit you, is a form of disease or handicap that really needs to be dealt with. There is a veiled reason why fear has the ability to move you, and to risk the goals you have envisioned on reaching, or to discard your dreams, is the simple fact that any insecurity that is felt, is in truth the grand collection of all your limiting, and negative emotions. Each of you has an innate and voracious need to feel safe and secure even within their own self. Subconsciously on an emotional level, you naturally avoid anything that is thought as to be a threat of this sacred security. We encourage each of you to try to understand and realize that many of your emotional anchors are merely perceptions. In truth these fears have barely anything to do with any threat. But then again, isn't the life you are leading just a perception? 
therefore the reasons behind your fears of not moving forward are as real as you choose them to be. Perception is the key word here. If you change your perception, you change the hold fear has, and you begin moving forward once again. It is up to you dear ones, and I know you have all it takes to break down the walls that fear has created to protect you from venturing beyond your comfort zone and becoming less attached to the excuses once used for not moving forward. In truth you are not needed to change reality, only your interpretation of it. We understand that it can be difficult to embrace some of the difficulties life has presented you with. But the sooner you relax and gain control over your emotional impulses, the sooner you will be able to enjoy the many incredible experiences life has to offer you. When you share your experience, even the fears you have, you may very well come across someone where they are excited to step into new territory, or be paralyzed by the very thought of change. This could be determined as someone having high or low self-confidence. Try to understand where your confidence comes from dear ones. Self-confidence is what happens when your perception is strengthened by your own experiences. Remember it is your perception that has a strong influence on your ability to commit to your goals and also determines if you will succeed them or not. Your most meaningful rewards if you really take the time to think about them, have come from you transcending your fears through the challenges you had faced. Within all relationships, there are many challenges, some will differ depending on the relationship, commitment, and so on. But the more involved you are, the more open and exposed you'll be, and the potential of being hurt is increased. Relationships of any kind are blessings, divine gifts from God. You may never know the length of any relationship but within the season of their stay, they hold many wonderful opportunities to better yourself together, but in order to enjoy the blessings of your relationships, it is paramount to overcome and let go any fears you may have. It is more than possible to enjoy the blessings of your ability to be employed even if there is risk involved of you making a mistake. There are many dear souls among you that consider making a mistake completely unacceptable, and will go at great lengths to avoid the possibility of making an error. It is important to remind you dear ones without making mistakes, you would not know or understand fully what is needed to make it right and whole. Even at work, it is essential that you are willing to face the fears that are presented there and overcome them. Embrace the blessings that fill your professional, working environment. Making purposeful and meaningful changes that will enhance your personal growth and development does require you to make an honest and truthful assessment of your total self, and then cultivate the courage to try something fresh and new. There are blessings to be found when you are attempting to bring change into your personal life. These changes will bring positive effects into your relationships and into your professional life as well, even if at first they appear to not match. There is always room for improvement. It is up to you to be willing to make the necessary changes that will allow the improvements to take place. Making changes of any size or proportion can have you feeling vulnerable, as you are risking of not being able to benefit from the blessings those changes would bring. Remember it takes courage to move out of your comfort zone, away from what is familiar. Being vulnerable is not a bad thing. It is a reminder of your strength and perseverance. Embrace the vulnerable feeling, welcome it, give it your love, compassion, and gratitude, then continue moving forward one step at a time. Every time you are willing to face any of your fears that cross your path and go for your dreams, hopes, goals, or ventures, the more blessings from God you'll be able to enjoy. We urge you to see your challenges as adventures instead of discouragements and allow yourself to see your fear as excitement. You will gain new experiences when you welcome changes instead of fearing them. Try to remember dear ones, that the bigger your fear is, the bigger the blessing is when you overcome it. The intrinsic passion and delight that makes your life a truly and authentically outstanding experience is found when you discover your courage and overcome your fears of the unknown and reach for your goals, ventures, hopes and dreams with all your heart and soul. Gently nudge yourself to look beyond your fears and comfort zone. You will find comfort from the rewards that your courage will bring you to.
Focus dear ones on the many blessings that you will encounter when you let go of your fears and welcome in the new. I am Melchizedek through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com